Sally loses a wad of her dad's money and the search turns up a big fat goose egg. Nobody wants to believe the money was stolen, but some quick detective work reveals that Marco has a rep as a thief. I'm not the kind to believe everything I hear, so I have some FaceTime with him and find out that a kid named Sword spread the thief rumors after Marco beat him on the track. Carl challenges Sword to a race as part of a plan to prove our new friend's innocence. Champion, go! I can't lose to him. He's just a stupid newbie. I've got to do this! jump and he pulls out of it like it was nothing. He's a lot better than I thought. Soda just yet, Carrot Head. I hear you haven't passed the lap trial, meaning this time I win by default. That wasn't part of the deal, and you know it. This thing was rigged for sure, cheater. I don't know how you did it, but somehow those wheels of yours were customized. No way. They were both RTRs straight out of the box. Besides, you gotta pick yours first, and you say I cheated? You give sore losers a bad name. If it makes you feel any better, Carl's not the one who aced you. Hmm? Look. He's the winner! I don't know what you're talking about. He won? Carl was only pretending it was him. The whole time it was actually Marco you were racing against, and you still lost! Marco? Do you remember the first time you raced him? You lost and told everybody he had an advantage because he'd stolen parts from you. We knew that wasn't true, and now we proved it. He beat you today fair and square. I think we all agree who the real winner is here. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. How's it feel to be the champ? Awesome! Thanks, guys. <laughs> so, Robert, your wish has been granted. It looks like we're finally through here. Honest? That's great! Then I can pack up and call it a day. Maybe teach Mike a few racing pointers. We're through, as in we've got no money left. The shop's going under. And no sweet talk. We wouldn't be in this situation if you spent less time with those toys and more time working yeah. on real cars. <laughs> Speaking of which, have you even started on that flak sedan? Already, sweetums. Don't you worry. I'll get us back in shape in no time. Excuse me. I'm here for my car. Sure thing. My husband's just bringing it out front. The black sedan, right? Mm hmm Don't I know you from somewhere? <sighs> yeah, Angela. That's right. We were in the same homeroom class back in high school. I had you pegged as one of the nerds. And now look at you, a regular pit monkey in a little mom and pop place. This is my son, Wilhelm. Guten Tag. Well, aren't you sweet, I think. Oh, he's saying good day to you in high German. But you knew that. <laughs> yes, of course. Bongiorno. Wilhelm practices whenever he can with all six languages. Oh, why, just last week he gave his victory speech at the junior golf tournament in Tagalog and Finnish. Everyone who was anyone was rendered speechless. Hi, Mom. I'm back. 
Oh, uh, guten tag, sweetheart. That's your son? This is an old friend of mine from high school. Oh, hello. You look like the type of boy who has a lot on the go. Well? Well, I spend most of my spare time racing remote-controlled cars with my friends. Takes after his mother, no <sighs> doubt. Come along, dear. Places to go. Oh, okay, bye. Uh, nice wheels, by the way. Huh? That's it! I've had enough of your toy cars! Oh, that's weird. Normally, Mike's the first one here. Yeah, super weird, considering Marco's coming to race with us today. He better not be mad because he thinks Marco's faster than him. He'd be totally missing out. What's with the bag? Hey, Marco. Uh, hey. Come on, spare me the green face of doom. Listen, I know you're not too excited about it right now, but you'll see. Language, dance, and music are a lot better than racing. You've got to help me show that little Wilhelm and his snooty mom that we're just as good as they are. Let's go. Oh. Whoa, this is going to be so cool. You can teach us a few moves, then we can race a little, then maybe you can teach us some more tricks. Except uh, I don't really know any tricks. Come on, I've seen the way you race. Can't you take pity on a hopeless newbie like me? Slow down, partner. It's not like I have a bunch of moves that I practice, but I can tell you one thing. You've got to study the whole track and memorize every last square inch. <laughs> Blame it on your choice of words. He's allergic to schoolwork. Sorry, but it's kind of hard to explain something I do out of habit. You could show us instead of all the yakking. We should wait for Mike. I'm kind of stuck for time. Then we'll get started now, and he'll catch up later. <clears throat> The trick is to keep your car in your vision, but you focus ahead on the track. Like here, I already know what I have to do. Lightning trip! And after that, I've got a counter steer. Whoa. Takes a little while to get the hang of it at first, but it'll come to you. Pretty soon you'll be doing it out of habit. You see what I mean? I get the general idea, but I don't know how you do it. Did I miss something? Uh, huh? Sorry, guys, I gotta fly. Just one more lap. I'm on the verge of a breakthrough. Sorry, it's late. I've gotta go home. Maybe next time. Aww. See ya. How does he resist my natural charm? <sighs> it's a mystery. Something wrong? Yeah, kinda. My mom signed me up for all these lessons. First it was German, then piano, and interpretive dance, and then golf of all things. I'm so exhausted. Half the time I can't even remember which room I'm supposed to be in. No wonder I haven't seen you practicing at the track lately. Which reminds me, the next Speed Planet lap trial is this Sunday. You better be there for it. It's gonna be good. I almost forgot. Think about what you have to do next while you're on the straightaway. Do you see it? Come on, turn! Lightning trip! God, I know it's hard, but you're barely trying. You both looked at your cars as soon as you headed into that drift. I didn't that much. <laughs> oh no, get back here, chickies! <laughs> Intermission break, get the chicken wings! <laughs> You see what I mean about looking at the big picture? Howdy catch, too. You want to share your trick? It's just like racing. You look ahead and anticipate the next move. It's exactly what I've been trying to tell you. 
You've got to be able to plan what you're going to do before you do it. Like this. <laughs> Whoa! I get it. you got to think before the chicks move or else you'll always be a step behind them. <sighs> nice one. It makes perfect sense. Thanks, kids. No, no probs. probs. <laughs> so that's what you've been trying to tell us the whole time. Exactly. I, I guess I'm a bit more of an action guy. Sorry. How about we put Marco's theory to the test on the track, bro? Yeah. I heard you the first time. The answer's still no. Huh? But, Mom, why can't I? It's only for one day. Not even. It'll just take an afternoon. Please, I've got to race in the trial to place at Speed Planet. It's a waste of your time. I don't want you joining any of those silly races. They're not silly. I've been practicing for a long time. Well, you're far too busy for that now. Hmm. <clears throat> hmm. <laughs> Hmm. Well, drivers 19 through 24, please make your way to the main track in preparation for the next race. I repeat, drivers 19 through 24, please make your way to the main track in preparation for the next race. I haven't seen it this packed in ages. I've already signed you up. Where's Mike? I thought he'd be with you. I was kind of hoping you'd know where he was. He's pretty distracted. I even had to remind him about the trial. Hmm. I better get going. I'm the official timekeeper. Here are your numbers, and good luck. Cool. This is going to be our lucky day, Sarge. Mm. You think? Even without Mike? On to the next heat. Will drivers 25 through 30 make your way to the main track in preparation for the next race? Yeah, we're up next. Let's do it. Good luck. Thanks. Drivers, on your second lap trial of the year, so most of the track isn't the same caliber as in the first trial. But you never know, there's always room for surprises. That's what's so great about RC car racing! They're coming into the first corner. Championship. How about a high five, bro? And you can buy the sodas. Hmm. 
Once we tighten our corners, we'll be even faster. There'll be no stopping us. Mom and Dad will come back from their trip and find out we're superstars. We'll be able to travel all over and finally say good riddance to Uncle Charles's moldy old meatloaf. That's what I'm talking about. And I'll also be able to put the monitor lizard Sally in her place. <laughs> I hope she didn't hear me. It's like she's got radar. It's almost the last heat and there's still no sign of Mike. Hey, what took you so long? Mikey, we thought you weren't gonna show up at all. You totally missed it. Frank and I won. We got the exact same time and we're both great A's. Now if you get into the top 30, we'll have the strongest team out there for sure. I'll try to. Hurry! Listen, I know you're tired and all, but you only gotta beat two minutes and 15 seconds. You can do this. We've got a previous Bee Planet champion on the track. And let me tell you, Ultra Flash lives up to his name. We'll see if he's got as much spark as those last two winners did. Have you seen my trophy? It's always been on the shelf. Young man, I just waited for you for four hours. Did you go to that race after all? I figured as much. Then I'm not even sorry I threw your trophy out earlier. What? <laughs> He's been like this all afternoon. Poor guy. It's bad enough that he lost his first lap trial, but now he has to deal with this? Oh, I can't believe his mom would just throw it away. What are we going to do? We've got to help him out somehow, don't we? Well, I could always try some hypnotherapy on him. I know just what Mike needs. A brand new mother? See this bag? There's an open lot where people leave things they don't want and take stuff that others have left. You'd be amazed at what you can find. Mike's mom said she tossed the trophy. I bet we could find it there. Cool. What are we waiting for, people? To the Alley of Treasures! It's a stinky job, but someone's <laughs> gotta do it. <laughs> Somewhere in this mm -hmm. pile of junk is Mike's trophy. Race you to it! Huh? What? Uh, uh. Watch out, because I'm right behind you! Thanks, guys. You got a head start! Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's no use, they'll never find it. Huh? We should give up. It's raining. Let's go home. We can always come back tomorrow if you really want to. That's not gonna work, Mike. The dump trucks come early in the morning, so we've got to find it now. Oh, man. They're gonna get soaked. What's the big deal? It's only a little plastic cup. To you, maybe, but you know it meant everything to Mike. How could you just throw it away like trash? You don't think he's wasting his time racing? Not a chance. If you'd open your eyes, you'd see our boy is taking racing very seriously. It takes a lot of training and hard work to get to where he is, but somehow you've gotten it into your head that he needs to be someone he's not. Come to think of it, this whole thing started when you met that old friend from school. Well, I've had enough. I'm gonna go help Mike and we'll find that trophy. Huh. 
Just forget about it, guys. I don't even want it anymore. The search is over, people. No way. How can you give up? You're not even helping us look for it. It's the same thing that happened on the track. You gave up before you even got started. If you're going to be our team captain, you've got to believe in yourself, for starters. Mike? Huh? Your friend's absolutely right. I know. Remember how determined you were when I got you your first RC car? That's how you won the trophy, through determination. Yeah, but... No buts. Now let's go help them, Mike. <laughs> yeah, come on, Sarge. Now we'll find it. Let's do this. <laughs> 